Hello friends! Today I'm going to be walking you through how to make a sculpture inspired by uh, Jean de Buffet. So he was a French artist and he was um, one of the one of the pioneers of art brut, which is this this type of artwork that uh, was typically done by people who didn't have a lot of formal art training. And he was kind of a rule breaker and liked to do something different every single time. And so a lot of his later work um, was very similar to this and his more famous work was was like this and so you can see there's lots of free forms um, abstract forms and shapes and obviously lots of use of a line and then um, some of the primary colors and some of his other work did include other colors but for us we're going to use a few colors and focus on line and form okay so let's get started for the first step in our du buffet sculpture, you need to get some blank paper and you want to use at least regular size sheets or larger. And I would like you to start with five sheets of paper. You'll need four to make the sculpture and then one for the base. So what we want to do first is looking at some of his more famous artwork. Um, we want to take a dark marker, preferably black Sharpie or marker and work on continuous line. So that just means filling our page with lines without stopping too much. Um, and if you look at Du Buffet's work, he has a lot of freeform shapes. So we want to include in our page some square edges and some round edges and some tall and skinny shapes and some wide and fat shapes and lots of overlapping because his work tended to overlap. So start by filling um, your four pages with shapes similar to this, just continuous line. If you need to stop, you can pick up again on a different edge and just thinking about those round edges and squared edges, okay? So step one, fill in four pages with this sort of continuous line, okay? Making sure you've got some larger spaces and some smaller spaces, um, but filling up the page quite well. Okay, so once you've got your four pages filled up, um, we're going to take the fifth page. And the reason for this fifth page is to make the base. And we don't necessarily need to fill this whole page. Um, the base I recommend we just make a fairly large square. So you can do this kind of however you want. We're going to need to cut it out. So I'm just going to draw a square um, that I know that will be big enough for the base of my sculpture. And I'm going to fill this one with lines similar to the other four pages. Uh, but this will just be a little bit smaller because it's going to act as the base for my sculpture, um, which will come together in the next few steps. 